Hello and welcome to Fifty Shades of Green. This is Adam and it's a full garden update. And as you can see there, I'll just pan you in on this uh, tree here. I think it's one of his fruit trees. You've got a, plenty of buds and blossom coming on that at the moment. I'll just pan you in to the uh, raised beds where all his uh, flowers are. Some are coming up nicely there from what was planted. Does need weeding soon, so that'll be done next stage. Just carry on over here. As you can see, lots more flowers coming through from from the bulbs we planted. And as you can see, just up there, you can see all the buds coming up nicely on that fruit tree there. Just over there as well. I'll just pan you just straight over here because we've got a lot of. Uh, Plants over there, ready for flowering soon, just over there. Just excuse me for a second while I come back over. There you go. Lots of daffodils there coming up nicely. Lots of uh, blossom on that fruit tree there. A lot of greenery starting to come on this one as well. Yeah, some of it needs weeding. That'll be the next stage that I should be doing later plenty of buds and blossom on that one just bring you over here to the next crazy le crazy lady next door I can see there's some pansies I think coming up there starting to get some greenery just here on this tree here this fruit tree as well loads as you can see there loads of daffodils come up beautifully there. there's another flower there as well I'll right, just take you through to uh, the next garden as you can see there's a few plants there there you go there's three clematis there I think uh, we've got some I think might be garlic in there. Pan you around. There's the polytunnel. We're not really using that this year. It's mainly uh, for storage this time this year because obviously with the veggie pods, we'll start growing stuff in the veggie pods. There's your fig tree there. I'll just see if I can get up. As you can see, plenty of figs on there. I'll just take you down. All the raised beds here ready for planting out with whatever Simon's got planned for those. Down to the little fruit orchard now. Plenty of greenery here. Loads on that one. A lot of blossom on this one as well. I'll take you down to the uh, orchard area, fruit, fruit orchard part now, as you can see. One two and there's a big big lot of rhubarb there and I'll just pan you here this is where we got the raspberries they're all uh, set up nicely there they'll start budding up soon and here we've got the goji berry really going a bit wild there as you can see just over there through the netting we've got one of the grape vines and we've got loganberry and a tayberry just over there. Just coming down here, we've got obviously the gooseberries. And just over there, a few more gooseberries. And we've got some uh, blueberry, blueberries just in there. All getting ready to come out for the summer. I'll have to bear with me as we go back up the stairs, back into into Simon's garden so you'll have to bear with just for a second as I said in there it's all mainly storage this year for the uh, polytunnel just close the uh, just close the gate
right, as you can see here, all the uh, veggie pods. I'll just open one up. Some of the remainders of what we've uh, potted on to slightly bigger pots. Just there. In this one, I think we've got onion sets. Yep. They'll have to be uh, potted into the veggie pods pretty soon. Planted into the veggie pods. And we'll go over to this one here. And this should be the garlic that we've put out, put into little pots. Yep. You see, there's the garlic there. And in here, as you can see, we've got some beetroot coming up nicely there. Those were all done by seed a couple of weeks ago, so they're doing well. Right, I'll just pan you over to the greenhouse now. Just take you in, bear with. And as you can see in here, this is all what we've put out, repotted. We've got uh, melons, leeks, cabbage, a few varieties of cabbage there. Cauliflower doing coming up nicely there. Uh, melons, lupins, some peppers, uh, peas as well there. Tomatoes, market moors, I think they're more melons and things like that there. Yep, so they're all going to be uh, transplanted a bit more later on. Excuse the noise a bit. <coughs> And I'll just pan you over to what I've done today. Just along here, as you can see, was lots and lots of rubbish and pots. They've all been moved. This area here, from where that raised bed is there, all the way along here, the project that he's going to be doing is going to be the uh, potato tower. We will be sorting that out structurally in the next week, maybe two. As you can see, everything has been moved over because the compost, square compost, wooden compost was here. It's now been uh, emptied, moved and refilled. So there you have it. So uh, this was Fifty Shades of Green. Please like, comment, subscribe. We don't just grow our community, we grow our veg as well. So it's... Uh, We'll catch you on the next video, so it's bye for now.